What's going on guys, Mayara here, back again with another video. In this video, I'm going to be going through my progression and a team rundown. So it's been a little over two weeks since this game's launch. I'm not a beta tester, so my knowledge on this game was as limited as everyone else's when it first came out. I did a lot of research and here I am today. If you enjoy my content, please do consider subscribing to the channel. I upload content every day for your entertainment. I'm at AR35 right now. Haven't got much time to really grind since the week has started again. For now, I'm just doing my dailies and trying to get to rank 36 where I'll unlock my last story quest. If you're unsure of what to do on Genshin every day, you can check out my video, Things You Must Do Daily on Genshin Impact, where I basically run through my entire day with you guys. Without further ado, let's get into my team's composition. Since I got the symbol of strength itself, my team has changed a little bit and I'd like to share my thoughts with you guys. So first up we have Venti, a consistent character throughout my team. I've used him ever since my first 100 roll video and he's been a really solid character. He's at level 60, constellation 1 now. His elemental burst is extremely broken and provides tons of AoE damage and CC, especially when you use him to combo with your other characters. On top of that, he provides good mobility with his elemental skill and thanks to that, I had an easy time exploring the world and collecting chests and oculi. All in all, he's an amazing support character and super fun to play. Next up, we have the overlord of DPS himself, Diluc. I've just gotten him yesterday and man, it has been a blast. He's an absolute monster when it comes to dealing damage and combined with Venti, it's so easy to slice through everything that comes his way. Do note that when using Diluc, you want to chain his 3 slashes from his elemental skill with his normal attack to make his animation much smoother and attack much faster. On top of that, his elemental burst does an unbelievable amount of damage. I leveled him up to 60 and upgraded his talents yesterday and man, he's really the monster that everyone makes him out to be. I've replaced my previous DPS, Chong Yun, with him and they're basically sharing equipment for now, until I build them both properly. I do still use Chong Yun sometimes, especially when I have to deal with pyro element monsters. Next up are the waifus. We'll start with Fischl. She's back in the team after a long period of neglect because I see very little use of her after getting Venti. She's maxed constellation and on her way to level 60. I've also equipped her with the Stringless to boost her elemental skill damage. She's a great support when paired with Diluc and it's nice to see her back again. For now, she remains a support on my team and I basically just use her for her elemental skill. Lastly, we have the other consistent character on the team, Barbara. She's also at max constellation and is on her way to level 60. Her heals are insane and she provides the team with a nice attack boost on her weapon as well. She is without a doubt one of the best healers, if not the best in the game. Her elemental skill gives the hydro element to enemies and it makes comboing with them a breeze. Previously, she had an insane synergy with Chong Yun, which was also able to apply both the Frozen debuff with his elemental skill and also shatter them with his claymore, dealing even more bonus damage. Now, it's vaporized with Diluc, but since Diluc's elemental skill can be activated 3 times, I believe the overall damage has gone up. At max constellation, she also revives a party member at 100% health should they drop in battle. This passive is available once every 15 minutes and is very very nice to have, especially in boss fights. Overall, I'm very satisfied with my team, and if there's one thing I'll change, it'll be to replace Fischl with Kutin. But I don't think I'll be getting her anytime soon. I am also considering replacing Fischl with Xiangling, which will activate the double pyro set effect of 25% increased attack for the whole team, which will further boost Diluc's DPS. For now, I'll focus on building Diluc and upgrading some artifacts for the rest of the team. With that, we've come to the end of the video. If you've enjoyed my content, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel, it helps a ton. Until then, safe travels and I'll see you in the next one.